Timothy that that God will visit you with that dimension of honor. I want you to pray this afternoon with all your heart. That you will walk on. Ask God to tear the garment of shame from you. We know what see us for it. Ask God to honor you. Ask that every shame and reproach around you will be seen. Ask God to clothe you with honor. When I say want to pray, I want you to pray that prayer. With all your heart. With all your heart. Please pray this prayer. That one. The kind of honor that nobody in your father's house has ever had. You are not here. God wants to release it on this afternoon. Because you are going to follow this principle. Are you ready to pray right now? I guess when I want to pray, you will say, In the name of Jesus, because my father, Baba, you honor me today with the kind of honor I've never received before in my life. You can be on that motif, honor me in my place of work, in my husband's family, in my wife's family. Honor me in the city. Never Honor me in my, in my neighborhood. Never Honor me, me as your child. Honor, Honor me in my place of work. Honor, Honor me in this nation. Never Every place where you relate, you will to ask you over. Then you will ask God to tear the garment of shame and disgrace. Are you ready right now? One, two, pray.
The said concerning someone, there is a man of God in this city and he is an honorable man. If your amen can be louder than that of your neighbor, then every garment of shame, reproach, disgrace, is not in me. I 
declare you blessed in the name of Jesus. I declare you blessed in the name of Jesus. I declare you blessed in the name of Jesus. People is go back and begin to pray. I declare you blessed in the name of Jesus. I declare you blessed in the name of Jesus. I declare you blessed in the name of Jesus. Blessed, protected. You will not be a source of sorrow. You will not weep over anyone else. Blessed, 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 protected. Blessed, you will not cry over any one of you in the name of Jesus. The good 